All right, back into customs for another silly team. Now I say team, really there were only two pets I was interested in and that was the Dodo and the Badger. So Dodo Badger doesn't really make any sense. You never see that combo in um, pack one because the Dodo would give attack to the Badger, which then increases the likelihood that the Badger is going to uh, faint and kill the Dodo behind it. Um, it's not 100% guaranteed. I mean, you could play Dodo Badger with a, a level one Badger and then give the Dodo a Melon, but it's still going to be a pretty suboptimal team and you're still going to end up doing damage to the uh, Dodo even through the Melon uh, once the Dodo's attack is high enough. So what I decided to do, given that I, for a change, have um, extra spaces in the team, a lot of the time I'm going for builds where I need um, three or four, probably sometimes even five uh, specific pets um, in the various slots. So we have a bit of flexibility with this one. So I decided to go for uh, Worm plus Jerboa to try and scale the team up. Now, um, Jerboa is way more common than it used to be. It was previously almost a never see. You would only see people taking it when they were trying to get the achievement. But now there are so many ways to get the apple that actually uh, Jerboa plus worm or owl. To be honest, I feel like it's a little bit too strong for tier four. It is somewhat reliant on getting um, the units leveled up quickly uh, because the worm just isn't great. You know, the, the level one worm, two gold for a one one, um, it just isn't good at all. And so uh, bef until we get the Jerboa, the worm really is kind of a burden to the team. Um, so, we're trying to stat it up as quickly as possible. We get the second dodo here and the crow. And I am actually just gonna freeze the uh, the apple there, even though I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't think it's worth it just to buy it, but we're waiting for Jerboa and having multiple apples stocked um, means that we don't actually have to play two worms. And most Jerboa teams that you'll encounter in the late game, they have two worms or worm plus owl and uh, for the purposes of this team, we just don't have the space. So we're going to um, we're going to accept that uh, once we get this going, um, the Jerboa is unlikely to uh, be fed every single turn um, both apples. Now in the olden days, Jerboa, because it was so bad, it had unlimited triggers. Um, but the only ways to get apple back then were just rolling it in the shop. So you really just had to high roll apples. But given that they introduced all these new ways to get uh, the apple, Jerboa only has two triggers. So initially we're gonna get two triggers fairly frequently, but I think as the game progresses, we know we're only, only gonna get uh, one per turn, unless we happen to be lucky and find uh, some apples. So here I am gonna take the spider level up and we get the alpaca, which means we can instant level two the Jerboa. And I'm waiting, um, yeah, I'm going to bring the badger in. We can buy uh, one of the apples because it's only two gold. And to begin with, I'm just going to play the badger at the back. Um, we are going to need to win a lot of games before we can get into the position of playing badger at the front. And maybe I haven't covered already what I was intending to do. Yeah, here you can see I'm not very impressed with this team just uh, putting everything into the weasel fellow uh, worm player there. But now we can level two the Jerboa. And so each apple is now going to be um, plus 2-2 two, two to every pet on the team, which is insane. You just have to make sure you don't inadvertently waste an apple. Like I, I have definitely done that many times in the past where I use up the two triggers and then I just forget that they changed it. And um, I end up uh, spending the apple when it doesn't actually trigger the ability. So uh, we're now going to start winning a lot more games because the level of scaling uh, is rapidly going to um, increase the, the strength of the team. We're also going to get the level 2 bat, and I think I will put um, yeah lasagna on the badger to take it uh, further out of snipe range. Another team where everything has been invested into the one unit at the front, uh, but we are going to be okay because of the, the buffs from their Jerboa. So yeah, I haven't mentioned it yet, but the way I'm going to uh, deal with um, Badger plus Dodo at the front is to give the Badger Onion. So that means the Dodo will give the Badger uh, the attack boost, but then before 
the badger attacks, it will move to the back of the team. And that may basically mitigates the chances of uh, the dodo taking the damage from the buffed badger. It's not completely guaranteed, however, because um, as soon as you put uh, a unit up the front with no protective perk, you know, no uh, lemon, potato, garlic, um, melon, you're much more likely to have the badger instantly be sniped by um, mantis shrimp and woodpecker. So I'm not going to uh, put the badger up the front straight away. I think I'm going to probably wait until eight or nine wins um, because, yeah, to be honest, putting it at the back, it is quite dangerous as well. Only 21 health. It could easily be sniped by a crocodile tiger team. So most of the time when I was doing this, I was putting a potato on the badger to begin with and then trying to swap it for onion at the end. But there were some games where I just wouldn't find the onion. And so, yeah, here you can see, here's a crocodile team, but thankfully they only have two um, level ones. I can't remember if we have uh, enough health here to get through. Uh, it's gonna be a tie, I think. Yeah, the badger, it's funny that the onion works even when there's no other pets on the team. So the badger kind of hops backwards. And uh, it is a little bit annoying when you see a mouse in the shop. Um, when you've got Jerboa because there's just nothing you can do if you're not playing the four squad with the owl. But now with a couple of uh, melons on the team, we're looking a lot stronger. And yeah, although this team has level three Husky, we had uh, pretty solid stats across the board. That is the, the difference with um, Jerboa compared to a lot of the other scaling methods. You can get a full team. Um, you know, you're not gonna have one pet that's really strong compared to everything else. The full team is going to be quite strong across the board. Um, so here we go, Onion Badger up the front, and then the Dodo gives it attack. It's going to jump to the back, and the Dodo is going to trade with the Lionfish, although it doesn't have enough damage to um, kill anything. And we we get the win there. So Apple for the Jaboa, probably the last one. And yeah, I'm probably just going to roll here for Melon. Although we do actually find an apple there and I passed it up. And uh, that's because I was looking for the chocolate for the bat. And uh, this is kind of an unusual um, four squad. I guess they were going for a copy achievement there. And the level one lionfish at the back is going to do nothing. So there you go. That's how you can play the inadvisable dodo badger combo without actually losing the dodo to friendly fire. So here are some of the uh, bonus clips. Now, this is the exact same lineup. I think it was maybe the game before or two games before where I got into a good position. We've got the level three bat again. This time we actually have level two badger, so um, it is gonna do a lot more damage. Now, I find the onion. We're on nine wins, but I'm on three hearts, so we're actually gonna set up to try and throw. So we'll put the weakest units at the front. We'll put the dodo with the badger in the middle. So now we just need to hope for a strong team to bail us out. And it is a, a strong collection of pets. These are all things that you see a lot in customs, but unfortunately the bat weakness is gonna hit the camel, remove the melon, and actually the badger didn't have enough damage to kill the dodo anyway. So that, that was a bit unfortunate, but um, I guess it worked as a proof of concept. And then I went on to get the, uh, the winning run afterwards. So here are some of the other bonus clips. Now we've got uh, a different um, trio of pets in the back, the crane, cat, and swan. And we've got the level two badger again, so it should do a lot of damage. Unfortunately, this team has a peanut on the cat. I actually think their stats were just too high anyway. We weren't gonna get through that team. Um, so we ended up losing. Not that common to see the peanut from the walrus rather than the, uh, the mongoose, I would say. Here's another one where, yeah, I'm only on four trophies, but uh, I had to show this because, yes, it's another infinite team. We actually double hit the gorilla there, so it activated two coconuts at once, but I think four 50-50 units on uh, turn 12 was probably going to be a bit too much, no matter how I'd buffed my team.